today I'm going to show you how to make an Anna of Arendelle costume with just some pieces that I have lying around the house. And so last year I made separate videos for each of the hair and makeup, but this year I'm just going to combine it all into one video. So let's just get started with the makeup. Anna has really flawless skin, so it made perfect sense to use the Cargo Picture Perfect CC Cream. Then to mattify that, I went ahead and put on this Clinique foundation. Next, I went ahead and primed my eyes with the Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. Then I took this light color from this Clinique palette and put that on the lids of my eyes. And you don't want to get too complicated with this makeup because Anna doesn't really have makeup on, so I just took this other color and outlined uh, the crease area. Taking a brown eyeliner, I went ahead and cat eyed my eye. I got this in my September glam bag, and when I tested it on my arm first, it showed up really dark. But when I put it on my eye, it wasn't as dark as it was on my arm. So I went ahead and went over this a few times to achieve a darker color. Taking your favorite mascara, go ahead and apply this to your upper and lower lashes. For blush, I just used a pink eyeshadow. You want to make yourself look like you're cold, so you gotta apply a little bit of pink. And then I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows. Anna has very light freckles on her face, so I went ahead and added freckles onto my face with the same eyeliner pencil that I used to do my eyeliner. dark, go ahead and add some foundation to lighten them up. Taking a light pink lip gloss, I went ahead and applied that to my lips. I would have preferred to have used a lipstick, but I didn't have one in this color, so this will have to do. So that completes makeup, moving on to the hair. If you don't have bangs, you're going to have to make some. So I took a little bit of the front half of my hair and Pretty much tucked it in under some other hair to create this bang like effect. And you just need one bobby pin just to hold this in place. If you have like a hair extension or some other color to indicate that streak of hair that Anna has, I would go ahead and add it to the side that I place my bangs on. And then you're going to split your hair in half and braid both sides. I'm not really happy with the way the bang came out originally, so I took them out and fixed them. You want to make sure that they're tucked in and don't affect the way that you braid the hair on the right side. with the hair we're going to go ahead and move on to the costume. So I took this mint top from Forever 21, this dress from Windsor which I'm pretty sure I put in another video, and these boots from Urban Outfitters. And it looks pretty similar to Anna's dress in my opinion. I'd love to know what all of you are going to be for Halloween this year. So let me know in the comments below. I will see you all next time.